Hello everyone, I'm Srant in China and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and throwing me a thumbs up. It really is helping. The subscribers are growing and I appreciate it so much. Now, let's get on to today's video because it is a doozy. Wow, it is a long one, so I actually had to break it up into four different parts, but the content is so worth it. Today we're going to look at Lianhua Mountain Park, which is an amazing and famous park right smack dab in the middle of Shenzhen. And it is a park that I literally, for 12 years, in all four of the different apartments I lived in during that time period, was literally a block or even just across the street from. So I explored this park extensively and in the seven years that I was gone it changed a lot but it also stayed a lot the same. So today we're going to look at the first of four videos showing you the entrance to the park and some of the new things that I found and just a little bit of an introduction to the park itself. The second video I'm going to show you the coolest most high-tech outdoor fitness center you've ever seen that costs nothing. Then we're going to make our way up to the top of the mountain and I'm going to show you one of the most amazing views in Shenzhen. And in the last video, we're going to make the long and treacherous trek down the mountain and show you the lake that's waiting for us at the bottom. It's really, really cool, but it was so long, I decided to break it into four parts, starting with this one. I hope you enjoy it. This is Lianhua Mountain. I lived in that complex across the street for about seven years. I lived behind these red buildings here for about four years. And I lived down the street over there by those big towers for a year or so. I used to know this park like the back of my hand. It's one of the most amazing parks in the city. There are so many different pathways and routes to get through it. And the wife and I are going to go explore it today. Got the train station over there. Well, that's an entrance to the train station that we just came out of. Look at that funky little electric car. That's cute. Kind of boxy, but cute. When I lived here 12 years ago, all of this area was still under construction. You see a kite up above. I won't be too many kites today because it has been rainy today. The missus's goal is to get to the top of the mountain, but it's going to take us about four hours to get there because she's going to stop and film everything. Look at these gorgeous flowers. They smell amazing too. I remember these from Hawaii. I can't remember the name of them offhand. Oh, she's off and running. Security guard having a little breaky poo. And of course, security cameras throughout the park for the safety of the people. When I hear people complaining, especially foreigners, about Big Brother and cameras everywhere and blah, 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 I'd rather walk around and be safe than be at risk. Because I'm not breaking any laws, so what do I care if they're watching me? Fill your boots. Yeah, she's going to go in every direction, but the direction we need to go to get to the top of the mountain. Oh, she wants the entrance sign. <laughs> Once again, I need to point out that all of these signs have English on them. There will be English telling you where the facilities are, English telling you where the toilets are, That's where we are now. So you don't need to know Chinese 
spoken, written, or anything to be able to get around in China. Alright, let's go. Once again, facilities provided by the park, place where you can wash your hands, wash your feet if you want to, garbage facilities on the other side, and the statement here, less littering, more beauty. And it is beautiful. This just fell out of the tree. Mm, smells amazing. Here's the dude with the kite. He's got the pro kite rig going on with the huge spool. He can get that thing going up a kilometer easy. Very, very cool. I never really got into the kite culture much here. It's a lot of standing, not a lot of motion. This is new. There are little shops and stores as you go further in, but if you do need a drink, these things are here and what a selection. It's not just water. You've got teas, you've got juices, you've got uh, cans, you've got little bottles, you've got coconut water, you've got Pepsi, all sorts of stuff. Oh, the wife's going to make a purchase. So what she does is she scans the barcode and then she has to make a selection. the Wee Chat Pay logo up. She scans the code. Oh, oh, there there we go. go. Oh, it's not even just drinks, as a matter of fact. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Do it. I'm filming. I'm filming. Look at this. There she goes. She's got a drink. Look at her go. Yep. She's a proud young lady. And look at this. If you're hungry, even. There oh. is Joe. I should have this. No, we're not here to eat. We're here to walk and exercise, lady. All right. As I said, four hours to the top of the mountain, people. Four hours. No people. Don't listen. Yeah, don't listen to her. She's going to go, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. No, 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 no. There's a lake over there. Now let's see. If that lake was there... Sure, that lake was definitely here when we lived here. Now this is just another storage locker area. So if you wanted to lock up your stuff, if you didn't want to carry everything with you through the park, you could scan a code here. You could, the, one of the lockers would pop open. You would put your stuff inside. When you came back, you would rescan the code and away you'd go. Now I better get moving here, otherwise I'm going to lose her. Like I said, this lady is very happy to be back in China. Kid in a candy store. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. She, she was telling me, oh yeah, we'll just take a quick hike up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. We know how that's going to go. So this is just the park service the service kiosk so if you did have any questions any concerns you could talk to somebody here is there they're a long way from, they're a long way from Canada those are ducks it looks like oh, I hear somebody over there so cool okay let's take a walk on the rocks here I wonder if that's a frog. I'm hearing something chirping. You hear that? I don't see anybody. Is 
They're talking to each other. Hey, quiet. Those guys. Yes. And once again, people, one of my big pet peeves about the parks in Canada, the lack of frickin' benches. Here we've got benches and garbage facilities all over the place. Look at that little cute bird over there. Right over there. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like a little sandpiper. We're gonna go investigate and see if those are actually Canadian geese, or if, as I suspect, they're a different type of geese. Now this barricade that's set up here doesn't look like it's for construction. It looks like they're doing something there to do with an event. Maybe they have Wi-Fi. Yes, as I suspected, those are not Canadian geese. Those are ducks. Canadian geese are, they're right there. Look at, they're sitting there. I have never seen a Canada goose in China, which makes perfect sense since we're not in Canada. My wife's gonna go over there and they're gonna get upset with her and run away. Walk right in front of my filming. That's my wife, everybody. That is my wife. Here we've got just a big pagoda area, a big covered area for people to sit and rest, get out of the sun on those hot sunny days, look at the uh, marshland over here. Do you remember the sidewalk, the wooden sidewalk to your right? Yes, we have been there before. Yeah, this is just a little, again, a little covered area. See another white duck there? Oh yeah, the little white duck. All by himself because the brown ones don't want to be his friend because he's different color. This is beautiful. We're never going to get to the top, people. And she never believes me. But you know the funny thing is that she's hungry already. And it's going to take her until 5 o'clock to get up to the top. Another hour to get down. And then she'll be starving. And then we can all giggle at her. And there's this huge open area. Open areas are very popular in this park for the kite flyers. Today, like I said, there aren't as many people flying kites because uh, it's a rainy day. And once again, a full on recycling station, not just garbage cans, but glass, food waste, paper, plastic, metal, and hand washing basins for you and the kitties. They really do think of everything. It's amazing. Oh, she's running ahead. 
trying to prove me wrong. It's two o'clock now. Let's see what time it is when we get to the top. Now in this big open area here, they will do events, little shows, things of that nature. I'm not really big on these areas. There's not a hell of a lot going on. I'm more interested in those areas. Now I'll come back here on a day when I don't have the misses with me and I'll show you my favorite place in this park, which happens to be a little pathway that runs along a ridge that is so far into the jungle. You don't even hear the traffic anymore. The building directly ahead is a Shenzhen art gallery. And it's a nice art gallery. I've been in there before. And that pointy building over there is over a hundred stories tall. They just finished building it when I left China and I can see the tips of other big ones over there as well. But let's keep going. We haven't even got to the main path that leads to the top of the mountain yet. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, they both lead to the exact same place. Banyan trees everywhere. Oh, yeah, there's a song. This is a performance area, so it makes sense that there would be songs and stuff here. The song she's talking about is etched onto the wall here. Due to the fact there's no sun and it's a little bit weathered, you can't really see it that well. I'm more interested in these things. These are banyan trees and these little tendrils that come down are famous. If you do not trim this stuff back, these trees will literally, very literally take over their environments. They are very invasive and incredibly powerful. This gentleman here is from the park service. He's wandering around helping people if they have questions. It is a big enough park that you really could get lost in it. That is a fact. So it's nice to have these type of people around. I, I came to this park more than you. Butterflies. I was telling everybody I'm, I'm not gonna take them to my path through the jungle that I used to take all the time all right the major path the major road is over here there is parking here of course so if you do decide to drive here if you don't live nearby you can park she stopped again <laughs> and maybe she saw a squirrel The smells I'm experiencing right now are blowing my mind. So delicious, so natural, so jungly. Now, if you ever do find yourself struggling, the park service also has little vehicles that will take you up and down to the top of the mountain. Again, it's not really a mountain, it's more of a hill, especially if you've ever been to the Rocky Mountains or a uh, proper <laughs> mountain range however by the time you get up to the top in the heat it'll feel like it so let's pause here and continue upward okay another little interesting thing here there are speakers throughout the park and beautiful environment please obey the visiting instructions and relevant regulations please continue to strengthen self-protection Wear a mask in public places, maintain social distance, and be the first person responsible for personal health. Please don't set up a hammer and other facilities. Basically, it's playing music and giving uh, directions, rules of the park, things like that, which is fine and is absolutely necessary. Again, a 5G station, so 
If you do want to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi in the park, it is here. I don't know. Sure, it might be a new path going up. 